What's up, Elliot? Hey, what's going on, dude? I'm so pumped for this movie. I am so excited. I'm doing. I'm like. I'm like running around with a chicken with his head cut off. I'm in Miami right now. Right. And uh, and I. I just can't wait. I can't wait. So, Bert, ask me. Ask me a question. You ready? Ask me yes. what did what what did I do for Mother's Day? What did Diane do for Mother's Day? What did Tyler do for Mother's Day? Ask me what we all did. Hey, what did you guys do for Mother's Day? We all watched the machine. <laughs> no, dude. Dude, can I tell you the weirdest thing? Can I tell you the weirdest thing? First of all, I am so Please. I am so happy for you, Bert. I am so happy for you. But oh, thank you. I look at the thing and I sit there and I'm like, I'm watching a movie and I look at the thing and I'm like, oh my god, it's Bert Kreischer. <laughs> it's him. Not he's not just in the movie. He is the movie. I'm in like ninety eight percent of the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, here's what I'm proud of. First of all, all the jokes are not in the trailer. So there are jokes throughout the entire movie. <laughs> that is true. And, and, and it's, it is a big action comedy. It's just a fun summer movie. It is. I, I will give you that. It is a big action comedy. That is 100% for sure. And so I want to be careful because I've had the luxury of seeing it. But I want to yeah. ask you some things about it. But I don't want to give I don't want to give anything of the movie away. Okay. Okay, number one, number one, and maybe maybe it was a family thing or something. But you're like your your real family isn't your family in the in the movie. Yeah, yeah, and, and by yeah, the way, yeah. I I don't even care. That doesn't bother me. I was still able to go like, okay, well that's not Leanne, but it's Leanne. Yeah. Um, was it awesome getting to kiss another woman though, <laughs> dude? Dude, that is the best question anyone's ever asked. Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. And then and and I I kissed her like. I think I kissed her like three times in the movie, uh, but the one at the end. Yes! The, I'm not not yes! giving anything away. Not giving anything away. Yes. <laughs> there's one. There's one kiss where they were like, "Yo, you need to like knock her off her feet," and she came up to me. And she's like, "Really, go for it. Like, make out. Like, kiss me. Like, really, kiss me." And uh, <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, great. Okay, so this is 100 percent true. <laughs> so we do the first one. And and you know what I'm wearing in this thing in right. this outfit. I'm wearing something. We do the first one, and I'm like, okay. I go to the director. I'm like, I need a costume change. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, why? I just, I just, I'm a little uncomfortable with this outfit. <laughs> I mean, it was. I mean, I kissed her so many times, and then the this is how bad I was. We had to do a pickup of the scene of Mark's line. And so me and her were reading the lines off camera, off camera, off camera. And I kissed her off camera. <laughs> Everyone's like, what are you doing? You're not even in the right outfit. And I was like, oh, sorry. I was just in the scene. <laughs> Dude, it was awesome. And then that night, I, that night, Leanne was there when we were in Serbia. And that night she got in bed with me and she was like, hey, you want to bring a little, little, little kiss over here? And I was like, beat it, scissor lips. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I I want to do I want to do I want to do a movie where it's just me kissing a hundred women. It was so much fun getting to cheat on your wife. <laughs> and I know you mentioned like when you say like oh Mark had to pick up his line. Obviously, it's it's Mark Hamill. Yeah. Why is it? And and listen, we've talked to you about when when you were in Serbia. We knew that Mark Hamill was going to be in the movie. Why is it still so weird that? And again, he's he's in a great chunk of the movie with you. Why is it so weird to look up and go, Oh my God, <laughs> Bert's in, it's Bert's movie. And there's Mark Hamill. Why is it so weird? It's crazy. It's so weird that I know him. Like he, he was at my house the other day and we were talking and he said to me, you know, uh, you know, what other movie came out on Memorial day weekend. And I said, what do you, a little movie called star Wars. I was like, <laughs> Shut up. He goes, it's a lucky weekend for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the best man. He's the best. The the lady, the the villain in the movie is like hilarious and not even trying to be funny. She's just funny in it. But it was, we were laughing with her. Like we, she didn't have, she didn't know any of the jokes that we grew up on. So you remember the joke, "D's nuts." Yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> so we told it to her. We're like, yeah, it's like a thing we do in the states. You like someone go, hey. Do you know D's? And she'll be like, "Who's D's?" I go, "D's nuts." 
And then she goes, I don't get it. Why is it funny? And we're like, it just is. Try it. <laughs> so the next day, we're in the tent getting ready to shoot a scene, and Mark walks in. She goes, hey, Mark, do you know D's? And he goes, D's what? She goes, D's not. And he goes, I don't get it. She goes, I don't get it either. <laughs> Hey, by the way, who is who's the dude who plays Sponge? Jesus Christ. Martin Ford. We saw a video of him walking around like Vietnam and we were like, who is this monster? We started sharing with each other and and then all of a sudden my director's like, yo, we need to get him to play Sponge. And so he is great. I worked out with him. I partied with him. He is the funniest. He is he is hilarious. That guy is a blast. He is, I mean, I, 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 every time you see him, I was like, I can't get over how freaking big this dude is. He's so big. He's so big. Did you have a Bert for the, for the machine in theaters on May the 25th? Um, did you have a stunt double for the movie? I did, but I didn't use him. I ended up ripping all the tendons out of my arm doing my own stunts. Now, I remember you got hurt. I remember you got hurt. And I don't know which scene it was, but I was trying to guess if it was you or a stunt double who was trying to. And again, I'm not going to give anything away. But like when 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 the out the 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 villain's brother flips up like from his back to his feet. And then you you was that you or a stunt double? (laughs) That's me. That's me. <laughs> I, uh, I am, uh, I, I, I ruptured my arm when, uh, when I fell down the hill. Okay. Sure. Sure. That's when I blew out my elbow. And then, and then, uh, then 10 seconds before I tried to do that kip up that, that fall that I took, that's when I heard it pop. <laughs> so, yeah. And so in the fight scenes, which this is no spoiler alert, but there's fight scenes, I could not stop my arm because I had I had ruptured the tendons, so I just punched everyone. <laughs> I just hit everyone. So those are real punches. Everyone got hit. I was I'm a whore. They had to edit out me going gish, sha, sha. <laughs> and I told that to Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, I worked out with Arnold the other day. I told that to Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he goes. He goes, yes, I know. Every time I had to shoot a gun, I had I'd go pop, 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 pop. <laughs> By the way, dude, isn't it isn't it crazy? Yeah, I just worked out with Schwarzenegger the other day. He was laughing. He goes, "This is what the new action star looks like. It's so great." <laughs> hey, is Florida State gonna love you or hate you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I got that one line. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, people. Respect it. I don't know. I don't know. I forgot about that. Um, now, listen, I'm assuming that um, that I'm we are not the only ones that have seen it for people that that you're showing it to. And listen, obviously, I love you to death, Bert. You know that. So I'm rooting for you 100 percent. But when 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 people are when people are seeing it, people whose job it is to be critical, are they are they liking the movie? Uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm not paying attention to that at all. Um I, all I care is that like the fans like it, like if the fans like it and they go out and support it in theaters and that's all that matters to me. So like, I, I, I haven't looked at anything, but I don't, I'm not online really at all. Right. I think Looper, Looper wrote something, but I just saw that this morning and I was like, stay away from that. Stay away from that. <laughs> that doesn't help you. <laughs> like I, 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 they, uh, they do skip it or stream it or for like specials. Right. And I, did, I did not want to know what razzle that, what people thought of razzle dazzle. So I was like, I was like, I, I was like, I, and, and then it doesn't matter because it did. It's, it's not for them. Were, it's not for them. Yeah. It's for people who yeah. like Burt Kreischer. Yeah. If you like me, you'll like this movie. That is 100% true. <laughs> if you like Kreischer, you will love this movie. That is 100%, yeah. uh, 100% Listen, true. I'm not, I, let's, let's be very clear. I'm not an actor. I don't ever want to be an actor. I'm a movie star, okay? <laughs> I, am, I am a movie star. <laughs> Screw the craft. I'm a movie star. <laughs> All I do is piss hot chicks and knock out gangsters. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, by the way, I, I know that you said you're in Florida. How was um? How was Australia? Oh, it's out of this world, dude. I first night there. First night there, I run into Stylebender, Israel Adesanya, right, the middleweight champion of the world. We end up in a bar with Jared Hess, the director of Napoleon Dynamite, challenging the whole bar to a fist fight. <laughs> It was the craziest night of my life. We're back to back, shirtless, going table to table. I'll kill anyone in this bar. I'm, I was, of course, only making eye contact with women, and he was talking to men. Yeah, it was out of the, it was crazy. But you it know, was crazy. You know what else uh, obviously took off and went viral and was all over the place was the golf tournament where uh, uh, Chase Kepka hits the hole in one. Dude. We had just we had reached out to Brooks or Brooke, Brooks Brooks Kepka earlier and been like, yo, we're in Adelaide. Can you hook us up with some golf tickets? He's like, Yeah, sure. So we knew both the Kepka brothers. I had said hi to them before the tournament even started. And then they took me out. They were like, Hey, do you want to hit a shot on twelves? And I was like, Hell yeah. And so they set me up with a seven iron. I go, It's 150 yards. I'm gonna I'm gonna stripe this into the stands. And the lady's like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And I was like, okay, give me the, <clears throat> give me the seven iron. I hit it perfectly, flew the green, hit the back of the back spot. But then we were lined up waiting at twelve for everyone, and I had predicted a hole in one. Dude, when he hit that hole in one, the place went bananas. The video, I can't imagine being there in person. The video is ridiculous. They they showered him with beer. Everyone threw their beers at him, and then. I ripped my shirt off, started swinging. That's what live golf was fun as crap, man. It was like, it was like waste management. It was a blast. Right. That's exactly what it reminded me of. The <laughs> one that they do in uh, Phoenix where everybody just loses their mind and goes crazy. Dude, we had them. I mean, I got wasted and I had two shows. I had one show that night. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last couple of things, because I'm, I know I'm going to run out of time. Um, all of your podcasts are, uh, I mean, you, you do an excellent job. You know that whether it's, uh, your, your podcast, Rain Wilson was good. You know, it was really good. Caroline Ray was fantastic. Yeah. And I, I didn't expect to like her as much as I did. She was fantastic. And then obviously two, two bears, uh, uh, one cave with Segura is always good, but you know, you know, what was a real home run? What's that? Your, um, your something's burning that you did with Megan Trainer. Oh yeah, that was fun. Well, her her and her brother are big fans, and so I it was which totally caught me off guard. And so they knew, they know my personality. So they so they, it's funny because if it's it, it, if you're a fan of mine, then you have my sense, same sense of humor. So we laughed the entire time. She was great. Well, I mean, they both were, but she was really really good. That was really impressive. I thought that was good. Hey, when is the Kreischer family on uh, Family Feud? Uh, October. Oh, oh, okay. So we got a little. How'd it go, though? How'd it go? It was it was awesome. Steve Harvey came right up to me, and he goes, he, first he says, I'm a fan. And I was like, oh, my God. He goes, five Netflix specials, people. Do you have any idea how hard this is? Five Netflix specials. This band's a legend. And then he goes right to Isla, and he goes, Isla Kreischer. How old are you? And she said 16. He goes, you got the world at your fingertips. The It is your oyster. You can do whatever you're going to do with your life. Do something great. What are you going to do with your life, Isla? And she looks at me and she goes, oh, that's a lot of pressure, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was great. It's, it was great. <laughs> All right. So the, uh, the machine is out on uh, May the 25th. Uh, Bert, again, I, I could not be I could not be more happy for you. Um, and I, again, I feel like we've talked our way through knowing that the that the, that the movie had been signed and that you were over there filming it. But to see it completed, dude, I, I, I honestly am so, so happy for you. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you. So anyone, everyone that's ever seen me do stand up, go to the movie theaters next weekend and watch my movie, The Machine. Go to the machine.movie. You can do the live in screening, in studio, in theater experience, streaming live from the red carpet on Thursday, the 25th. But I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. I hey, love you guys. And one, one last thing. You know what I didn't even realize about you until seeing the movie, though? I never realized you had titties. <laughs> <laughs> that joke's all over that movie, right? <laughs> it's so good, though. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, thanks, brother. All right, dude. The movie, uh, the 25th, go see The Machine with Burt Kreischer. Burt, we will see you. Um, I know that you get through town. You're here in June in Baltimore, and then December in uh, out in uh, at uh, uh, out at Mason. But we'll deal with that as we get closer. Go see the machine May 25th in theaters. Bert, I love you to death, buddy. I love you guys.